summary of uh, the treatment session yesterday I did with Francesco. So from his personal perspective, uh, he is here because of groin pain. He has a movement restriction, especially in extension. In history, he had a trauma in extension. It was a forced extension movement during soccer playing. His functional limitations are running, exercises, emphasizing the extension, especially the lunges. And also stretching in extension uh, is making his symptoms worse. So then when we look at the PE findings here, the functional tasks we have uh, in summary showed that the hip extension is restricted and the lumbar uh, extension is increased, so a hypermobility in the lumbar spine. And this was shown during uh, the following functional test. It was show, uh, it was, he showed that uh, during walking, especially with uh, larger steps, he showed that during the lunges and he also showed this uh, during the, hip, uh, the lumbar extension in standing. Okay. So then uh, I assessed the passive physiological movements and this, those showed a restriction in flexion, extension and also in rotation. So then the first treatment was a passive mobilization technique then and this improved pain and also improved mobility in flexion and in extension direction. But the functional tests nearly stayed the same. So then he got a, a home exercise program to do that, that fits with the passive mobilization technique I used yesterday. Uh, and now today I want to have a look at the Thomas test in his case. And because he, he told me that stretching exercises are worsening the problem, but the, the extension is limit, limited, and his, his aim is to improve also the extension movement. So it could be a good idea to use an eccentric exercise for the hip flexors that very well fits also with increase of stability in the lumbar spine. So what I'm going to do now is I test the Thomas test in his case, then I do with him this eccentric exercise, and then I do a retest of the Thomas test, okay? So can you lay down on your, uh, can you sit here? Yeah, look at that. Okay, great. Back, can you pull up your shirt? Okay, so the most important thing yesterday we talked about during the Thomas test was the starting position of the pelvis and the uh, stabilization of the pelvis during the test. So I start in um, a lumbar spine flattened position. Then I fix his pelvis over there and then relax. I lower his thigh. And now I feel already that his pelvis wants to move. Do you see it? So now it starts to move. So I fix his pelvis here and then I reach uh, that amount of extension. So when I now add abduction, it's possible to go down uh, to the plinth. So this fits with the hypothesis that the tensor maybe is the most restricted mu uh, muscle when we compare the hip flexor muscles. Okay, so once again have a look at that. This is the end position. Okay, so now can you stand up please? And sit also here, that's good. Okay, just at the end, very end. Foot on the floor, yeah. Can you put off your shirt now? <coughs> And now I would need help. Could you come and fix his feet on the floor like that? Okay. 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 So now what I want you to do is, you should uh, flatten your lumbar spine a little bit, go into a little bit of flexion. Put your arms like this. Okay. And now you should keep the starting position in the lumbar spine and then you should move backward as far as possible without losing the position in your lumbar spine and then you come back again, okay? 
So I will guide you a little bit here. Okay, so now start to lean backward. Yes, good, 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 good. Very good, very good. And come up again. Okay, so eccentric hip um, flexor activity with stability of the lumbar spine. Okay, one more time. Very good, very good. Move here, not that much here. Yeah, and come back again. You okay? You good? <coughs> it doesn't need that much flexion. Yeah, stay there and now. Move your pelvis here. Yeah, okay, and come back again. Okay, one more time. Stop, blah, 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 blah. There's too much here. It should only be here and come back again. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? Okay. So you see there's a much, uh, a lot of activity here also. Okay. Okay. And stop. Okay. So now I want to do, thank you, a quick reassessment of the Thomas test. Can you come closer to me again? And let's see if there is a change. Stability of the pelvis again is important, of course. So it seems to be a little bit better. Okay, again without fixation, so that you can see when the pelvis starts to relax, starts to move. So now it's a little bit later. Okay, so uh, I have um, seen this exercise um, the first time on the online course with Alison Grimaldi and this exercise is not really researched in depth so the effects why it changes into extension so this is not analyzed very deeply so a lot of action is going on here in the front with the abdominals and also with the hip flexors but I tried it out with my patients and very very often if they have a restriction here and stretching does not help that much, so you could choose strengthening for lengthening in that case, okay? So what I want you to do now is do the Thomas test, repeat it again, put the results in your tables, and then uh, make, make the notes, then do the exercise, and then do a reassessment of the Thomas test, okay?